I have to tell you this story. I was in art school and the professor had given me, I believe it was a B or a C plus. It didn't matter. I can't remember, but it was less than an A and I was devastated. So I set up an appointment with the professor to discuss my grade. We sat down, we went back and forth for a few seconds. He stopped me, said time out. Listen, he said, I would give a person who is less talented than you, someone who is basically a C student, an A any day because they're willing to put in the work and you are not. I couldn't argue with him, even though my testosterone was deceiving me to continue the argument. However, he had judged many people like me and he could see the pattern of behavior so clearly. He could see that I wasn't willing to pay the price, that I wasn't willing to get up early or stay up late, that I wasn't willing to go the extra mile. I wasn't willing to pay the pain price because I didn't recognize that the pain was congruent to the success on the other side. And so he could clearly see that I wasn't willing to pay the price for my own success. And this is why you find many people who are gifted, they're talented, they're exceptional. It's obvious, it's clear. But you also see the pattern of behavior that was similar to mine. They're not willing to give any more than what they received at the date that they came out of their mother's womb. The question I have for you today is simply this, are you willing to pay the price? You know what your price is, you don't need me to tell you. You know what you're willing to do and not do, and you look at where you are. I'm not talking about your geographic position, I'm talking about your mentality. Are you willing to go the extra mile mentally? I know we live in a meritocracy and we want compensation congruent to our experience, but a lot of times it's perceived, not perform. You recognize that. And the difference, just like my professor pointed out, is in the result. If you don't see the output congruent to what you want to achieve in life, you know you haven't paid the price. That's my question for you today. Are you willing to pay your price? You can't compare yourself to someone else because you don't know what price they're paying. <laughs> you don't know what price they have paid. And sometimes looks can be deceiving. There are people who can put up a good game, but when you recognize that they're really not where they should be, it was the same for me when I was speaking to that professor. He saw it, and I, I have to be thankful that he was willing to tell me, hey, Stephen, there's another price that you have to pay. You just can't be acting like a baby even though you are a grown man. And that's what many of us do often. We're willing to settle for existence for survival instead of striving for greatness, which requires us to pay the price. Next cue.